Hello guys, uh, so today we're going to show you how to make a beautiful bookmark right here. I'm going to teach you how to make a bookmark with using this bookmark paper here. And we're going to show you how to make this Japanese girl like here and this metal, <clears throat> metal uh, wires like here. And then I'm going to show you how to make a flower like this type. And then I'm going to show you how to make this flower look beautiful right here. And <clears throat> and this ribbon, I'm going to show you how to cut like this ribbon right here. And so yeah, let's get started. Okay, here's the hair already. We already make a hair. Okay, here's the hair already. We already made. Is the hair? Uh, you can make a different kind of hair, whatever you like. Like it's add to anything. Okay, okay. So let's start making this body right here. So first up, we need to this neck right here. Okay, here's the neck we just made right here. So start, let's start making this uh, the body shirt right here. So first uh, you take a square piece of paper and then you have to fold, it doesn't matter you fold wherever you want like this and then you fold like this. 
so now it just looks like this but we're gonna make it like this so we're just going to a little bit like right here oh yeah okay we're going to do like this and then grab this right here and then we have to make this shirt a little bit more like right here okay or something like that and then we have to glue it like so like right here and glue like right here and then now this one you have to fold like like right here or something like that after you done don't fold ev like this huh? or else you just messed up now you're going to do is fold uh, like this like this fold so the body looks like this okay now we do the same thing but we're going to glue it first just like that and do the same thing So now it's okay if the one with the if you have very long shot and like this, it's okay because we're gonna fix that later. First you need to glue it first. Okay, so like just like this or anything like this. So now we're going to do we're gonna make our the half of the body width so when you take a piece of any kind of paper it's okay you don't need to do the center or you can do one as short as and it has to be like this the same size as this paper right here and then you're going to glue in this this here then fold like this and now you're going to glue again this behind and now you're going to glue this okay. going to glue everything and glue this to like eh, like here like this here like this here right here So here we have a heel and then next one we're going to do is we're going to fold any kind of this and then the next one is going to be fold like this and this right here and then we're going to take like this and we're going to glue right here in the center and now we're going to glue like right here And now we're going to be carefully fold like right here and then fold it like right okay. so you need to fold like this and then we're going to glue it now I'm going to glue it like this Oops. 
so now we have the body with the clothes on here so now we're going to cut a little bit in the hair right here just so you can add this so this one is you grab this hair right here and you have to make the, the behind here so the hair will be behind if this like this is not going to be useful so we're going to do like here or anything like here or something here like this here I was thinking and then we're going to glue it and then this should be the finishing touch and here it is it's, so it may be not the same I'm making right here but it's the same instructions as I'm making now like this huh? so if you want to make beautiful you can try to make beautiful but for now okay so here we have our uh, Japanese girl right here it looks so good so now I'm going to show you how to make our flower petal right here I here's I want I made a flower petal now I'm going to show you how to make a flower petal by yourself so first off you need to take a piece of paper like this and you need to need a ruler to measure the one inch line right here to make the one inch line just line and then draw a piece of line like that and now you want to grab your scissor and cut the half to So here we have we have our two lines right here. So we're going to glue this one to make it longer right here. There we go. It's now longer line. So next time you want to take your uh, hair cone, any type of hair cone, and what you want to do is you need to put this one right here and make a circle like this. So you have to make a motor focus like this end right here you have to spin around like three times to make a perfect beautiful circle like this one right here. So once you done that, so you need to tie it first in the first one, so the the circle will be a little bit more more beautiful. And also you have to if you do three times like here already, and do by one by one each one wire one each layer right here. So like this. So once you do like that, just keep going until one layer right there. So now I'm going to spin, I almost finish one this layer. So I'm going to glue it now. You don't don't take off first up. Uh. Okay, once your glue is like that, uh, 
and then now you want to take out the whole one and there you go and now you you're going to hold in the circle in the center right here and then all you have to do is just press in the center and then hold it and then like this and make a more shape like this well once you're done like that and now take your glue and glue it so and there you have it a flower petal so you have to do this uh, four times to make a flower so I already made this four times right here so once you make four of these and then now you have to do like this make a the flower shape like this so first we want to glue it first okay so here to resolve our beautiful flower right here so we need to take uh, this blue bead right here and glue it to like here once you do like that let it dry it first so now we're going to start making a, a bookmark right here right now so we have a ribbon and this bookmark right here so this bookmark right here so we're going to take this flower away so first off you need to take your Japanese girl right here we already made right here right now and then now we have to glue like in the back of this video and put that in the right here so now we're going to take a metal pole right here you can do like this what I am doing because this one is for the leaves for the flower so I'm going to put this um, like more inside or something like that okay. like right here right here and now I'm going to glue this one right here but I have to glue like this because I cannot glue this metal right here so this is okay I guess so now I'm going to take my flower right here so I have to glue this well so let's do this right here or maybe and there we go this is what's the result right here so now it's not finished yet so we're going to make a weaving first so i'm going to teach you how to cut like this so first you need to do this both sides also you need to fold and have this ribbon right here and now i'm going to cut the, this ribbon like this right here Like a very sharp edge, and this is what's supposed to look like right here. So now I'm going to tie up this right here. And now, when you pull out this string right here, and then now you took this string and do it like this put in this hole and then pull and there we go that's how you make a beautiful bookmark 
and now I'm going to do the leaf part so if you want to do the leaf part with pen or marker pen or, that, or anything just make a leaf like this And now there you go. That's how you make a beautiful bookmark.